Hi, welcome to Fun Math. Today we're going to be talking about basic number properties. Here we have four types of properties, which are the identity property, commutative property, associative property, and the distributive property. In this video, we'll be only talking about the identity property of multiplication. In the previous video, we talked about the identity property of addition. Let's go back and talk about what we learned in the addition, the identity property of addition. What's identity? Identity is who you are, your name, or you. So, but in this video, we are going to be only talking about the identity property of multiplication. So, when you multiply any number by one, it will still give you that number you multiplied by one. Okay, let's talk about these three examples of multiplication. The first example I have is 30 times one equals 30. 30's identity did not change after multiplying by one. The second example, 500 times one equals 500. 500's identity did not change after multiplying by one. Okay, example three. 4,000 times one equals 4,000. 4,000's identity did not change after multiplying by one. All right, so now to view what we learned today. We learned about the basic number of properties. Here we had four different types of properties, which are the identity property, commutative property, associative property, and distributive property. In the next video, we'll be talking about the commutative property. Thanks for watching. Bye.